Hello, I'm John. I'm the Warhammer Modeler. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Goliath and Escher weapons and upgrade packs that have just been released from Games Workshop. Now, I don't know if these are going to replace the Forge World resin kits in the future, but these are the first two plastic upgrade packs that we've received for Necromunda. So just taking a look at them, on the front there's the artwork of the variety of different weapons. And on the back we have some examples, some images of all the weapons for both the Escher and the Goliaths. So we have different faces, different hairstyles and different weapons. The Escher have alternative accessories and things like that. So let's open the first one up and have a look at it. So we have a little guide with it. Shows us the different heads, the um, hair, and the different weapons. So running through these, let's have a quick look at the sprues. They're identical sprues, so I'll put one to one side, and we'll go through this sheet and have a look at what we've got. So the heads are the first ones. We've got those along the top here and there's hair dotted through the sprue. So we've got a bolt gun, which is just here. We've got the shotgun. So having a look at this, there is our shotgun. Two handed axe and hammers. So there's the axe, there's the hammer. And going on to the end, We've got a maul, which is a two-part weapon, it looks like. So we've got the top of it just there, and then the handle there. Oh, it's a furnace plate, just there. And then a selection of individual arms. So some of these are similar to the Forge World ones. I do like the multi-gun there and the flamer there as well. So nice little set of weapons there. A good addition for the Goliath Gangs to make a variety of weapons. So let's have a look at the Escher one. So again we have our little instructions showing us the different ones. So we've got the different heads individual arms and then the weapons so again two identical sprues so i'll put one to one side and we'll have a look at just one for now so the first thing we've got here is individual arms so a variety of things we've got auto pistols different swords needle pistol Looks like we've got a stub gun there. Nice looking chain sword. And then weapons, we've got a shotgun, which is just there. Melter gun. Actually, there's is that two flame? It looks like a flamer. And looks like two flamers. Maybe a ah oh, that's a hand flamer and a flamer. And then we have our plasma gun. It's quite nice. It has the um, canisters as separate pieces. So you could always run cables out of these if you want to make it into a beefier weapon. The needle rifle, which is just here, is quite a nice looking weapon. And then we've got the heavy stubber, which is a multi-piece one. So we've got the main part there the ammo, and then the backpack. So again, another nice little sprue, a few other bits and pieces. We've got some shoulder pads, belt pieces. I think looking at both of these as additions to the, um, the gangs, it adds a lot more scope when you're making the gangs. It'd be nice to see them released for all of the main gangs and possibly just a few generic ones. 
So I hope this unboxing's been useful. I'll see you on the next video. I'm John, I'm the Warhammer Modeler. Stay safe.